Good morning, I am Dr. Prabodh. I am going to speak on impact of GST on food processing industry. GST is something which is happening new to the India. One country, one tax. Friends, GST principles have been brought to India through the Arthashastra Chanakyas way back 2300 years old. Every transition will have a tax. France is the first country which brought the GST in way back 1956. Today, there are 160 countries who have adopted GST successfully. To name it, UK, Singapore, Malaysia. You will surprise to know that US has not adopted GST because of its federal and state structure. India, there are two kinds of taxes, direct tax, indirect tax. Direct tax means I pay a income tax. GST will not repeal the direct tax. GST will repeal all indirect tax. What are indirect taxes? Indirect taxes are levied by central government, state government and municipalities. Central government put you a custom duty, excise duty, sales tax. State government put you entertainment tax, luxury tax, VAT and the local municipalities tax you entry tax. All these tax will get repealed by a single tax called GST. Bajpi government in year 2000 introduced the GST bill. UPA government number 2 in 2011 reintroduced the GST bill but got could not successfully went through. Modi government in 2014 introduced the GST bill and we are so happy. President signed the GST bill on 8th of September 2016 after 50% of the total states weighted the GST and qualified the GST as a single tax collection unit. There are various slabs of GST, 0%, 5%, 12%, 18% and 28%. Also there is a slab for 28 up. Coming to the food industry, ideally as a food technologist, I feel all the food products should have been only in 5% because food processing industry is an engine to the pharma, is an engine to the agriculture industry and if agriculture wants to grow, food processing should actually go fast. But all the essential commodities are at 0%, so like jaggery, rice, they are at 0%. Essential commodity 0, regular commodities like oil and other are at 5 percent, processed commodities are at 12 to 18 percent, luxury commodity like aerated drinks they are at 28 percent and non-essential and non-required commodities like tobacco products and all are 28 plus. Friends, when it comes to the GST, the one word come HSN code because goods and services tax, unless your code is clear your GST slab will not be known. So, HSN code has been started in 1986 in Brussels and the organization is World Custom Organization and this HSN code is called Harmonized System for Tariff Numerals. They have actually decoded 1 to 97 chapters with all the services and goods. Unfortunately, Many Indian products are not named into the HSN code because we have adopted their numbers. It is not possible. However, HSN code is a uniform number all across the globe. There are challenges in HSN code. Our jalebi will not be there. Our nutraceuticals are not there. Our rasagulla will not be there. In absence of that, naturally you will attract the higher taxes which is 18 percent. These are the challenges. In short, GST is a good Government has brought for the positive thing because it will save lot of duty structure, multiple duty structure. Even one truck from say from Jammu to Kanyakumari, it used to take 7 days to travel because of every entry the truck has to stop. Only the petroleum saving will be worth of 20,000 crore. Impact is positive, however hurdles are there, challenges are there. But country is ready and I wish this will be a positive thing for the food industry because the business will be in the white, invoicing will be there and the collection will happen and the tax will get collected for the betterment of all of us. Thank you.